put together a personal profile of your child. And if you have a new teacher, because that's a big transition, uh, having a new teacher going to a new campus uh, can be a very big transition the next school year for both parties, not necessarily just the child, but also the teacher. Take that person-centered profile and share it with your classroom teacher. It's going to be the new teacher, new faculty that may be working with your, your child that year. And the personal profile that we put together for Joseph, or keep notes on, I should say, for Joseph, uh, first of all, you include is, is what they like, what they don't like. Maybe what supports they may need. Maybe what they uh, maybe what they feel is a, is, a, is an award or a commission for doing something appropriately or for good deeds. If your child is going to a new campus that they're unfamiliar with from the previous year, then I would, I would we used to take Joseph on a tour during the summer, just before school started or just before the campus closed for, for a two week break in the, in the summer when there's no students there, just maybe a few faculty and administrators and see if they'll let you take a, a tour, take photographs if you need to, to show them where this is going to be your, your classroom, this is going to be your cafeteria, this is going to be your, where you have PE, this is gonna be where the playground is, you don't necessarily, may not have all that information at the moment, but at least you can take photographs or some of the information at that time. Uh, your classroom teacher might not even have a classroom at that moment, but at least you can show them the campus and this is where we stop, this is where we eat. Uh, that's an that's a easier transition process.